All right, hello everybody, and welcome to this uh, MBS training specifically. So you've probably seen us do a bunch of trainings where we're, or like webinars where we're, you know, I guess you could say for lack of a better word, pitching uh, a service that we have or someone we work with. This is gonna be a lot more impromptu, mainly a training. Um, before we dive into that, my name is Curtis Johnson. I'm the president managed by SATS, and I'm joined with uh, Mark Jepson, who is the chief operations officer for MBS. Um, and uh, we're going to touch on some, mainly in the advertising area, we have yeah. a tool called Advertising Manager. Um, the biggest thing, you remember how, I think some of you guys on a live that we did earlier, um, we did a whole survey on pay-per-click, just the whole subject matter, and one of the biggest things that we found came up is that people want some help with bid optimization. Um, so bid optimization is one of the many things you can do inside of our Advertising Manager. Uh, Mark is a seasoned seller. Uh, you've got a pretty darn good set of brands going, yep. um, as well as obviously knowing Managed by Stats inside and out. Absolutely. So uh, the whole idea is we're, we're not gonna go too crazy long, because here's the thing, if you're anything like me, you hate long webinars. So we're gonna keep it probably like half an hour-ish yeah. in that range. Um, I am uh, gonna mainly turn it over to Mark though. I'm gonna literally slide off and kind of keep an eye on like any questions you guys have. We are running into a weird technical difficulty where he's not able to handle questions here. So we're either gonna feed you guys questions or maybe I have Danon and Jade over here and they're also gonna help handle questions. So we might be handling questions on the side just uh, in the chat box while Mark is going over the training. If we can get it figured out, we'll also do questions up over here. Um, but other than that, um, anything I forgot? I don't think so, right? I think that's great. Ready to rock and roll? Okay, I'm gonna literally slide off. Mark's gonna slide into the middle, and uh, I'll be back closer to the end. Cool. Okay. I'm gonna take this with. All right, guys, so let's, uh, let's jump right in. Basically, we wanna look at a few things uh, related to advertising, and the first thing we're wanna, gonna wanna do is uh, look at the best time of day. So this is gonna to relate to your uh, bid optimization process, what you're gonna be doing on how you wanna optimize your bids, which keywords you want to uh, adjust your, your bids on. So uh, going in here on your dashboard, you have you know, obviously your main dashboard where you keep all of your uh, dashlets and you can customize this how you want. But then you have a, another default dashboard called best time of day. And in here you can add in uh, these graphs. So if you uh, haven't already seen it, it's down here, best time of day. And uh, I've already uh, put in a couple of these. So I have Amazon's best time of day. So this just shows, um, oh, actually, sorry, this is best day of the week. So you can see the best days of the week right now. And then you have also best hour of the day. So it's basically averaging those out. And you can see that, okay, for Amazon, this is the, the, the hourly uh, best times. But you can also see your own, for your own brand, your own products, uh, what hour is the best for you. So you can see the trend is kind of similar, uh, these two graphs here. Uh, has a similar trend going up uh, around uh, 8, 9 uh, a.m. and then kind of peters out towards, uh, that must be about 5 or 6 o'clock there. So um, you can kind of use that as your first data point of, okay, what areas do I want to adjust uh, stuff in and how do I want to adjust it? So looking at that, I'm going to go, okay, I look at, you know, 8, uh, maybe seven o'clock is when it really starts to, to pick up. Uh, and then uh, at eight o'clock, I'm getting to my highest hour. So I'm gonna think with that datum um, and then make some adjustments accordingly. So uh, I'm gonna dive into, if you go into your advertising manager, um, in here we have, the first thing I wanna look at is our hub. This is basically gonna show you a overview of how your account is doing. Uh, right now I have this on a monthly view. I can see monthly comparisons here, and uh, it gives me an overview of how am I performing? You know, do I need to jump into different areas? Am I losing money on my profits, or uh, are my organic units dropping, or whatever? Uh, so after I can, you know, look at that, if I want to do a, a deep dive and see which areas I want to dive into. Um, we could look at campaigns, ad groups, and ads, and, and keywords. So we have all those separated out here. Um, what I like to do is just jump right into keywords. That's where uh, most of the uh, magic is, and um, that's gonna be where you're gonna wanna dive into and, and make the adjustments. Um, similar to how you have in Cello Central, where you can look at your campaign level, you can then drill into that and look at the ad groups and so on and so forth. We have that same structure, but the cool thing about this is if you just go to Keywords tab, you can now look at all of your campaigns 
and see all the keywords for all campaigns. So now you don't have to manually go into each campaign and make adjustments and then go to your next campaign and make adjustments. You can just look at them all right here and go, okay, what do I need to handle? What stuff do I need to, to, to decrease bids on or e increase bids on or whatever? Um, the main thing here that I want to touch on is uh, the bid adjustments and what kind of um, optimization you'd want to do. So two things. First, um, if you go over here, we have this column right here is the uh, bid, optimiz uh, bid optimization where we're going to basically, if you have a target ACOS set, then our system will increase or decrease your bids accordingly based off of that target ACOS and how your ACOS is performing in relation to that. So that's one thing you can turn on and go, okay, I know that I need to make adjustments on this. This one is, is uh, you know, needs to be brought down and I don't wanna go in there every couple of days and, and, and make adjustments on it. The system can just do that for you. So that's one thing we can do. We can turn that on and now uh, based off of our target ACOS, let's say we say, uh, I'm gonna go with 30% uh, on this one. Um, right now I'm coming in at 95 on this keyword. So it's gonna now start uh, making adjustments to this keyword um, based off of the metrics that it's seeing. And it's all incremental, it's all done mathematically, so it's not gonna be some huge change or huge adjustment. It's gonna be incrementally bringing that bid down or bringing that bid up compare, you know, in, in comparison to what you have uh, on your ACOS. So that's the first thing I would do. Uh, and you wanna look at those metrics and see, okay, what makes sense to do which. The other aspect is on the time of day. So over here you have this little calendar and this calendar is gonna be what is tied into that best time of day. So here you can actually see, this is, we're showing Amazon's um, uh, best time of day here. So you can go, okay, from what I see here, the best time that I would wanna increase my bids or decrease my bids, I can do that smartly by looking at when does when do I get the most sales? And I can see here, okay, yeah, about seven or 8 a.m. it starts to go up. 9 a.m. Is, is when it's at its, uh, you know, almost at its peak and it just drives forward. So I could pick certain days. So as we can see here, Monday is a big day, uh, Thursday is a big day, Friday is a big day, and it starts to peter off on the other days. So I can do this, I can go, okay, well, let's just do, uh, actually this is pause, so I'm gonna go to boost. I'm gonna go to boost uh, to about, uh, 6 p.m., 6 or 7 p.m. Uh, I'll do that on Monday, and I wanna do that on Thursday here, and let's do Friday as well. So now we're selecting the boost option here, and then we're gonna, we, can, we wanna basically tell the system, hey, raise our bids by, in this case, a percentage. So we could do, you know, by a, a precise amount uh, or percentage. I like to use percentage just so it's, so it's thinking with, um, thinking with your bids correctly. You're gonna go up by a percent rather than by a dollar or whatever. It could get out of control that way. So I like to use the percentage option. I'll just say, uh, let's go up 15% during these hours. So now the system is going to, for all of your uh, uh, keywords that you have this selected for, so in this case, I'm just doing this first keyword right here. I can set it and then forget it. I can go, okay, good. I know that it's gonna boost during those hours and increase my bids during those hours so I can hopefully get more and more exposure and more sales, because I already know I'm getting sales during that time. So I wanna get more and more, capture more of that uh, revenue share. So uh, I would set that up, I would click save, and now that's done. Uh, we can see that it's, it's gonna start doing that and it'll just start pushing it through. Um, we could also do this on a campaign level, so if you, know that you want to do it on all your keywords uh, or if you want to do it on a, a single keyword to push rank push ranking you can you can do either one so in this case i just did it on a keyword we can go over to campaigns and do the same thing with an actual whole campaign where we can set it to increase or decrease or pause um, and this can be you know there's a, a thousand different variations of this where you know let's say you know that um, you know you get horrible traffic on the weekends you can you can take uh, the whole weekend and pause it uh, that's probably not smart, but it, whatever's workable for your business, whatever you're finding uh, for your business as the best time of day or best days of the week, um, that's a very simple method to just get that implemented and start optimizing your bids, optimizing your spend to get more out of your spend. Um, okay, so that's the two main features. Um, if we have any questions, I'll take a second to, uh, to pause here. Uh, if we have any questions coming in, doesn't look like it yet, okay, great. 
So what I'm going to do now is jump into some of these other features here uh, in the Advertising Manager that uh, are going to help you basically save time and get a, get a, a lot clearer picture of what you need to be doing. So the first thing is this Views option up here. And we have some default views, which is uh, your gain loss. Uh, let me go actually to the uh, Keywords tab again. Uh, this is where we're going to see a lot of the different uh, metrics a lot better. So on the Views tab, we have your biggest lost, your largest gains, and your no sale keywords. So if you click this, it's going to automatically sort your keywords, but you need to be thinking with target ACOS or total ACOS here. So if you have a total ACOS put in or a target ACOS, our system will then think with that and go, okay, based off of uh, the metrics it's seeing, which ones are you losing the most money on or gaining the most money on? So if I just go back to uh, the default view here, and let's say I take, um, I'm just gonna grab the top, uh, look, we got 50 rows here. So I'll grab the top 50 rows, and I'm going to set my tacos here, I'm gonna set it to 30%. So that will now set all of those to 30%. You can see that happening there in the background. And then I'll go to Views and click on Biggest Loss. So now thinking with that target ACOS that we set, it now can see what metrics we're getting. What is our ACOS? And how is that comparing to our, our, our tacos? And then are you losing money or gaining money compared to that? So it'll show you these are the ones that um, we have the biggest loss on. We could then sort it by largest gain. And it's going to show us the keywords that we're gaining the most money on. So normally you would do this. You'd go into Seller Central. You would download the report. You'd look at all the metrics inside of Excel. You'd sort it by which keywords are, are you know, doing the worst, performing the worst, make adjustments on those keywords, upload that file to, to uh, Seller Central, and that would be done. Here you can do it all uh, a lot faster. You can uh, view the, all your campaigns right here and go, okay, which ones am I gaining the most money on? Okay, now let's take all these. These ones I know that I'm, uh, let's see, I'm on biggest loss. So I can take all of these keywords and if I wanted to do this, if, I, if this made sense and I looked through all the metrics, I could take all of these, go to action here, and I would decrease uh, the bids right here by 5%. I would lower all these bids, and now I know I'm gonna be decreasing my aggression level on those keywords, so I'm not wasting as much money. Uh, I still wanna see if I can get sales from them if, they're, if, they're, you know, if they pertain to my product, but at the same time, I want to decrease how aggressive I'm being on them because I'm losing money. So I would say lower by 5%, and there it goes. It's saving all that, sending that over to uh, Seller Central. And then I could do the same thing, go over to Largest Gains, and okay, we have 12 products and 12 keywords in here, so I would take all of these. And again, I would want to look at the metrics before I just blanketly did this, but uh, I would look at you know these things to make see if it made sense, and then go here to Action, and in this case, I would raise the uh, bids by 5, 10, or 15%, whatever I thought was appropriate. So uh, that's a nice little feature. It just makes, uh, takes all the time out of having to do downloads, having to parse through a lot of data. Uh, the system does that for you already and makes it easy for you to decide, okay, it makes sense that I need to, I'm losing money on this. I need to make some decrease, uh, decrease in my bids on them uh, so I can actually save more money on that. The other uh, features that we have in here uh, is a bid history. So let's go, uh, let's find, let's see if we have some that are in here. Here we go. So here you have a bid history. So inside of Seller Central, you have a bid history column where you can see all the changes in your, your bids, uh, but it's, it's uh, a little bit unwieldy where you have just all of your keywords, um, uh, bids in whatever sequence it happened in. Uh, whereas this, you can see for that one keyword, um, what was your bid history? And you can see the, the, the graph of that. Um, and then you can look at that and, and see, does it make sense to make a change on this bid if you already made a change uh, on the 17th? Uh, you can see that on the 17th, it, we, we made a change. So does it make sense for us to increase or decrease that bid now? Okay, you have to decide. Does that make sense to do that? Uh, if that's too, too early of a change, you maybe want to wait a little bit. And this way you can actually see, okay, does it make sense to do that? 
another feature we added in here is uh, comparisons. So when you're looking at uh, stuff in Seller Central, you can uh, look at a certain date range, 30 days, uh, two weeks, seven days, whatever it is, right? Um, you want to compare data uh, appropriately. If you're looking at something in the last seven days, uh, that data could be incomplete. There could be still uh, uh, click corrections that Amazon's doing. Uh, so your ACOS could be uh, kind of give you a false picture. Uh, so you want to look at stuff over a certain amount of time and you want to know what that time, those time ranges are, but you also want to compare them to each other. So if you look at two weeks, you also look at uh, 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 30 days and maybe 60 day view. Then you can decide, okay, if you're going after a keyword and you're bidding, you know, you wanna make a change on it because it's not performing well in the last two weeks, you could be like, okay, I need to get rid of that keyword, it's horrible. But if you look at the last 30 days or 60 days, you could see that over that long time, you actually have been getting some good results. So you go, okay, it doesn't make sense to kill this keyword, let me just reduce it a little bit. Uh, so that's what this feature helps you uh, see where these metrics are, is you can go, okay, I'm, I was performing at you know 22%, uh, but overall I've been going down, down, down. Um, okay, so that's that feature. The next one that we want to look at is um, let's see columns. So in here you have a lot of there's a lot of uh, data or or or. Uh, available things you can view inside of Seller Central. And while all of that might be important, you also want to look at what is important to look at right now. So when you're making decisions, you need to look at certain metrics. So here you can see that there's certain things you want to look at. Um, and we break it down uh, in, in a lot of detail. You have sales that uh, you're getting from uh, the last one day of a click. So someone clicked on your product and then they bought the next day or within that 24 hours. Uh, sales that you're getting within seven days attribution, uh, 14 days and 30 days. So you can kind of see, okay, even though you might get uh, less sales in the seven day, you might be getting some sales in the 30 day attribution window that you know, okay, it's still worthwhile to advertise on that keyword. Um, but again, this is all just all the different, pod, uh, different uh, metrics that you'd want to look at that you see in Seller Central. You can see it all here. Um, so that's that. And then let's see. If you do want to um, download and parse the data yourself or put it through some kind of uh, algorithm or put it through some kind of process where you find certain keywords that um, are you know, long tail or something like this, you can always, uh, of course, export the CSV here. You're gonna have these extra metrics that we have uh, in that download, so it's a little bit more detailed than what you would get from Amazon. Uh, and that would just makes it so you can do your own kind of manipulating if you want to. And then of course you have your date ranges, that's pretty simple. Uh, you can do custom date ranges uh, and then everything else that you normally see in Seller Central. Uh, you can also do custom days back, so that way if you're looking at, you know, if you want to look at metrics that don't include uh, the last four or five days, because you know that might not be accurate or might not be complete, then you can set it uh, in there so you can look at a certain date range backwards. Um, and I think that's basically it on our advertising manager. There's a lot of little other things in there, but those are the main features that we added in to make, make looking at your metrics a lot easier, and then of course taking action on those a lot faster. So uh, that's what I have for now. Let's um, see what else we got. Ooh, sliding back over. <laughs> um, I recall the other thing that you wanted to show guys, like we wanted to also, cause here's the thing, I know a certain percentage of you guys, oh, I'm like not even in screen, thanks. <laughs> a certain percentage of you guys obviously haven't seen this tool or used it. So we wanted to also give you kind of like an overview. Um, another feature in there, we have the weekly report feature that yes. people get. Yep. Um, and again, we also know a large chunk of you guys that are seeing this are using this tool. So we just want to also make sure that you know what you have as part of you know, this service. So yep. um, basically, it's a mirror of that, right? That's right. It basically shows you these exact same metrics. What it does do is it's the report. Whenever you get it, <clears throat> you get it every two weeks. Whenever you get it, it's taking the data from five days backwards and then giving you a two-week view, a 30-day 30 uh, 30-day view, and I believe a six-month view. Um, so you can see basically your your revenue, 
uh, your PPC revenue, so this is your total revenue, uh, and then these are basically date comparisons, right? So if I'm looking at this month, I have revenue for this month, uh, this past 30 days, and then the previous 30 days to that. So I can see a, an immediate comparison. Uh, this is your PPC revenue, so just revenue that you got from your advertising. Of course, your ACOS, so you can see how that's doing, how that's performing. Uh, ACOTS, that's advertising cost of total sales, otherwise known as total ACOS or real ACOS. Uh, people have different names for it, but uh, it's advertising cost of total sales. So you can see if that's getting uh, better or worse. In this case, it's going down, which is good. Uh, you have your PPC cost, that's pretty simple. That's just what you're spending on PPC. Uh, you have your, we break apart your units by PPC and organic, so you can actually see, okay, is your uh, ratio uh, getting better or worse? Or right now you can see I'm doing basically about 50-50 on this one. Uh, and then at the end of the day, you wanna see your profit margin. Is, is your profits going up? Are you being profitable on this? Are you making money from these sales? Um, so we show all that in there and you have these graphs as well that are in that report. So um, if you kind of look at, you know, you can look at comparisons. So total revenue against uh, uh, advertising cost of total sales. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of see those break aparts and uh, very, very uh, at a glance visual of how things are doing and do you need to dive into something and, and go handle some area of, of your advertising. Yeah, so and then the thing that I'm sure the guys who have Advertising Manager are asking is like, uh, you're saying that we get this report, but I don't have this report. The people who will recognize this report are the guys who have PPC Logic, the, our actual advertising, you know, our agency. Those guys get this report. We just turned this report on for the guys who are um, using the advertising manager. So you're going to start seeing this report any day. I, I can't remember exactly which day we're sending it out, but you'll, you'll obviously see it in the next couple of days. But this is obviously all the, the switching between different columns and things like that. You do that in the actual hub on Managed by Stats. You'll get just kind of like that, the basic report on email. So if you don't want to have to go into Managed by Stats and you just want to see it at a glance, you'll see that in your email. So that's a great thing about that time of day, obviously, you mentioned the, the simple fact you don't have to go into Seller Central. Yep. Um, so all these things are really good. Um, we're going to throw up a link. Um, I think we have like an overlay or something. And so you'll see, if you check out here, you'll see where um, you can go learn more about Advertising Manager if you, if you don't have it. Those of you guys who do, uh, the whole idea of this was just so that you get a chance to kind of learn about the other features that you probably didn't know or maybe you didn't know that you already have. Um, I think there's a free trial, I think it's a 14 day trial That's on right. Advertising Manager. That's so if you have MBS, just click on the Advertising uh, tab yep. and then um, it'll pop up saying do a 14 day free trial. So you can do that. If you have questions, again, we'll do the whole onboarding process with you. You can check in with support. Anything that you guys need, we're here to help you very smoothly pick up using some of these tools. The whole reason we're doing these trainings like this is so you learn more about the features of Managed by Stats. For a lot of you guys, learn what other features you're already paying for and how to use them. So you're, because like each of these tools is worth the full cost of subscription in its own right if you use it. But if you use none of the tools, you're wasting your money. So we just want you guys to better utilize the things you're already using as well as um, you know, learn some strategy along with it. Um, Danin was pointing out to me, for some reason we're not getting questions over here, so sorry. One of the major questions, at least one of the major categories, is just about strategy. And we could dive into a bunch of different strategies for bid optimization, how to handle your PPC. But to be honest, it would take us 10 hours, something like that. That's a lot. Yeah, so yeah. what we did instead, and it's still free right now, is the PPC course. Um, Philip Jepson, who as most of you guys know, founder of Managed by Stats, has many, many extremely successful brands. So we're gonna throw up an overlay that uh, leads you guys over to that course. Now, here's the thing to realize about this. We are on module five. Yeah, it's university.managedbystats.com, right? Yep. So, um, but we'll also have, um, we're popping up an overlay here, I believe in a second. Uh, yeah, for it'll, so scan the QR code, that'll bounce you over to university.managedbystats. But that's also a pretty easy URL, so I think you guys will be fine with that one. But um, 
We're on module five right now. I think we have one or two modules left to shoot. So here's the way that that's gonna go. You can access that course free no matter what if you're Managed by Stats user. If you're not a Managed by Stats user, it is still gonna be free until we shoot that last module and make that live, then it's gonna go to a paid course and it will be not no longer free anymore. So you're kind of getting in as sort of like a beta user, even though it's not really beta topic. Right, those that get it free now, get that course free for free life. Free for life, yeah. So get in there now, don't wait, because it's not gonna be free in probably a couple weeks from now. So hop in there, um, learn that. Are there any, I don't think there are any other, you guys are all over questions over there. We're sorry about that, it's so stupid, it's live. Live is such a pain in the butt. <laughs> We'll, we'll definitely have that worked out um, next, next time we do it. Um, and again, you guys probably saw, some of you saw the survey we sent out. Um, a, it's just a generalized seller survey. Do answer that because that's the kind of stuff that we use to make these trainings because we want to know exactly what you need help with, what is your biggest problem. We saw from doing those PPC surveys a couple weeks back that bid optimization was your biggest problem. So that's why we covered this topic. Um, Anything else that I'm missing? I think that's it. We can definitely do some, we'll do some other uh, topics on this next yeah. week and, and uh, keep, keep moving it forward. Yeah, exactly. So if you do have something specific, throw it in the comments for sure. Share this to anyone you think that would be really useful. Um, if you prefer randomly to send in emails, just shoot an email over to support at Managed by Stats. Uh, tell, tell us what topics you want to hear about, and we'll be happy to cover them. Awesome. Uh, otherwise, I think that's it. Um, we will catch you guys next week. Again, get, this is going to be a routine. So every week, Thursday, 2 o'clock, we will be here at this table. Uh, going over some other feature, unless we have like a, a, a much broader uh, webinar that we're doing, which I know that we're doing one on the 10th of next month, which is going to be basically we're taking those, those PPC surveys, seeing what are really the things that you guys are struggling with the most, and we are putting together an extremely in-depth training on that. Uh, we're getting outside help from seven, eight-figure sellers to kind of compile what are really the, the best strategies for 2021 moving forward. So that's something to look forward to. Any week we're not doing something big like that, we'll do something like this. Yep. Um, otherwise, I think we're done. Cool. Awesome. Okay, good. Well, then uh, he'll be ending the recording any second. So uh, we'll talk to you guys later. We'll see you in the next one. Good. Yeah, I think that was awesome. Yeah. Perfect. Well, smooth. I, did I go too fast on some of the stuff? I don't know. I, know I think you, it was I know fine. You gave me the thing, but